It's been three days since 19-year-old Haven Trevino was shot and killed outside Orlando's restaurant Thursday by the father of her young child. Family members say there was a long history of domestic violence in the couple's relationship, but today they gathered where the young mother was shot and KMAX Amy Cazera was there. And Amy, I imagine this family is still heartbroken and still looking for answers. Yes, it's absolutely devastating, Matthew. Dozens came together to honor Haven's life today by releasing balloons from the spot where she was shot outside Orlando's restaurant. Friends and family members also spoke out about domestic violence, asking the community to raise awareness and help prevent losing any more loved ones to the cycle of abuse. We cried out. We cried out. A daughter, a mother, a sister, a friend, and a victim stolen. We made so many outcries and we feel like we didn't get heard. So we want to find out what we need to do to help others. Family members coming together to remember and celebrate the life of 19-year-old Haven Trevino, a life taken too soon by an all too common situation. Nobody thought it was gonna ever get this far, and but here we are today. And we're having to do these things to remember her because she was stolen from us. Haven had just started working at Orlando's restaurant and was preparing for a shift when Isaiah Mesa, the father of her young baby, shot and killed her. A senseless act that could have been prevented. According to documents from Child and Protective Services, this was the devastating climax to months of abuse and domestic violence. We just wanted to come out here to where she was taken from us and release balloons for her and just send them to heaven where we know she is and keep speaking of her and keep remembering her and keep sharing her story. Family members released dozens of purple, pink and white balloons at 1213, the exact time the 911 call came in. This is for you, Haven. We love you. Love you. Now they're making a promise to continue fighting for victims like Haven. If you hear somebody in a similar situation, you talk about her again. And you say, I know you don't think it's gonna happen to you. But we didn't either. We didn't think we were gonna be here. In the back of our minds, we hear Haven telling us, we got this, we got this, get up and fight. So we are now, we are fighting for her. And this is not gonna end today, tomorrow or next week. We're going to continue her fight because it's not over. We love you, Haven. The family is asking the community to send them any photos or videos they have of Haven so that they can share them with her baby once he's older. To learn how you can help Haven's family or donate to their GoFundMe, you can get more information on our website at everythinglubbock.com.